Here's what's unique about Michael Penix. Let's roll these. Very slim. We mentioned the injuries, and he's got a weird release. Brian? Well, all lefties have a weird release, and we don't like watching them throw. <laughs> but I actually, I actually saw someone, I don't know if it was on, on X or Twitter, whatever we call it now, or Instagram, and they had kind of used a mirror function, and they flipped it, and he was, it showed him throwing right hand, and I'm like, man, looks pretty good. Right? The Can only we freeze this just if, at the moment of release, if you could, um, as close to it as you can, just to see where the ball is. It looks low, the footwork is wacky. I mean, he's completely facing his target. He's open. The Aaron Rodgers, the Joe Burrows, the, the Mahomes, the Herberts, all of their power is coming from their back hip and keeping that front side closed. Whereas with UC Michael Penix, what you're seeing, I, I see what you're saying, he's opening with his front arm and it's kind of his back arm's kind of just following along for the ride. Brian, this is just his bread and butter. He's he's standing in there and he's letting it rip. Yeah, I mean, Texas is giving him this throw. It's He does a great job of seeing that safety of the field, get with, he knows that the middle's open and, you know, it, it does show, you know, some velocity on the throw. And, and to me, so much about playing quarterback is knowing where to go with the ball. And so you see initially he checks the safety to the right. He knows that he has a seam coming in the middle of the field and it's and it's going to be open so it's anticipating and throwing it on the line to get it there in between those two safeties this is a play i didn't love it's complete but phil you mentioned when we were off air about one of the knocks on Penix and not taking sacks he's, he's kind of you can't do this <laughs> i think there are people in the nfl though brian who believe boy he had so many injuries throughout his college career he might be a little too willing at times to shy away from contact because he just wants to make sure he's able to stay on the field. Again, I get it as a guy who just sits here and watches football on a couch, but is that something that might bother him at the next level? It's funny hearing your take because I love this play. <laughs> I, I love this play because this guy is clearly supposed to be blocked. He thinks he has more time than he, he thinks as a quarterback here, there's no one blitzing, right? They have the five down linemen. That should be taken care of clearly. If, if the linebacker blitz, I'm okay. Where I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it quick. It's a, it's a slot fade. He's trying to hold the safety. Now all of a sudden there's a little loop, a little stunt. There's a guy on your face. I mean, as long as you get the ball off and, and like this right here, taking a sack here would be a horrendous play. Uh, high comp, low comp, Brian. For Michael Penix. Yeah, I'll stick with, you know, mentioned it before, the Tua comparison. You know, I think he's probably a little bit bigger, a little bit more athletic, a little bit stronger arm version of Tua. That's probably the top you're looking at. For my high-end comp, I struggle because it, it is. It's hard to get that lefty thing out of your head. And when you were talking about sort of the open stance and just letting his arm go along for the ride, I kind of can picture Steve Young a little bit. But I'm going to go just in terms of play style. I'm thinking Arizona edition Carson Palmer. Just throw that thing down the field in a Bruce Arians offense. Let your guys go make plays. He's not going to be running a whole lot and picking up yards with his legs. He's going to be from the pocket, chucking that thing down the field. I'll go Carson Palmer. And then low end, Sam Bradford. Phillip Rivers, without the same level of fire, but similar throwing angles. And, you know, I would imagine their arms were similar, similarly strong. Um, Rivers could throw it when he needed to, and certainly Panix can too, but I just, I wonder how many of these and how much of these throws he'll be able to get away with right. at the next level. All right, that's gonna be a wrap.